Hello folks, Fred Marple here coming to you live from Frost Heaves, New Hampshire, or semi-live if you're watching this at a later point. Welcome to Fridays with Fred, my new show which I will be doing every Friday morning at 8 o'clock. And uh, if you are not an early riser, you can, you can tune in later in the day and catch a rerun, you know. Um, let's see. I am very excited to be doing this. As some of you know, I, I have been on television before several times on uh, New Hampshire Chronicle, but this is the first time I have broadcasted live to uh, what could be a national or even an international audience. You never know. There might be people from New Jersey tuning in, and you can, uh, you can check in. You can, uh, in fact, let me know where you're coming from, folks. I always say I got some messages uh, uh, Patrice Hutton uh, Wood, thanks for joining in, and uh, Margaret. Uh, anyway, good to see all you folks, and again, leave a message, let me know where you're, where you're coming from. This is live TV, folks, so you never know what's going to happen. You know, the phone could ring, the cat could wander through, or I might get an emergency call. So stick around, it could be exciting. I'm going to give you the news from Frost Teeves, and later on we'll, we'll read the police report, my favorite part of the newspaper. But... To start off with, I, I'm going to give away a prize here. got some tickets to my upcoming show on uh, Saturday, October 8th at the Peterborough Players Theater. It's um, uh, a guide to New England for locals and people from away. This is a look at us Yankees and the way we dress and the things we eat, the way we talk, all the things that confuse people from away. So if you've got visitors, you know, leaf peepers in town, bring them to the show on Saturday, October 8th. But I got two tickets here I'm going to give away if you can answer a question. Now, these here, this is a $30 value, you know, depending on how you define value. But anyway, I'm going to give these away to the first person who can tell me the name of the diner in Frost Eve, New Hampshire. So you comment below, tell me the name of the diner in Frost Eve, New Hampshire, and you will win these tickets. All right. Well, let's see now. Let's start off with what's going on. It is fall in Frost Eve, and consequently, we are going through our annual redistribution of vegetable wealth. That's right. The gardens have all come in, and all the gardeners are trying to get rid of excess vegetables. So they are giving them to neighbors, and they, they even go out at night and sneak around and leave them on the doorsteps of their neighbors and their front porches. There's folks in town who have taken to frisking guests if they have dinner parties. They frisk their guests before they come in, make sure they're not trying to sneak any vegetables into the house, you know. But mostly it happens at night. Everybody in town is going around leaving vegetables uh, for people. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like a town-wide game of musical chairs with vegetables. When the music stops, if you've got vegetables, you're stuck with them. You know, you're going to have to make ratatouille or, uh, or uh, something like that. Or uh, maybe if you New England, you could make piccalilli with it anyway, you know. And, of course, the main thing we have a lot of is zucchini. Oh, my goodness. Every year, it's like New Hampshire soil, for some reason, is really good for growing zucchini. So we've got zucchini coming out of our ears. So once again, we are doing our annual zucchini bank. And what we're doing is we're collecting zucchini and storing them up for the less fortunate this coming winter. Um, and the folks who have a need, we will distribute zucchini to them. Yeah. What else has happened? Out at the farm stand, Herb Cullen uh, has got his annual special going. It's the Bag Your Own Autumn Leaves special. Now for $2, you get a bl brand new black plastic trash bag and uh, you fill it with as many leaves as you can put in there and take home with you. It's quite a bargain. And these are not just any leaves. These are not ordinary leaves, according to her. These are free-range organic leaves. Oh, yeah. The folks from Massachusetts just eat that up, folks. Yeah. Don't forget, i got a contest going here for these two tickets to my show on Saturday, October 8th. If you can tell me the name of the diner in the town of Frosty, okay? I'd hate to, for the uh, 
I hate for these to go unused, folks. Well, let's see. Uh, national level, of course, everybody's talking about the election going on. And lo locally, I hear a lot of folks are going to vote for somebody called Lester Two Weevils. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Lester Two Weevils, it sounds like a Native American name, don't it? But I think I would probably vote for that person, Lester Two Weevils, if I could figure out who it was. I think a lot of folks would. Speaking of voting, you can uh, you could vote for my uh, my book. Uh, believe it or not, my book Welcome to Frosties has been nominated for a New Hampshire Literary Award, which is surely a sign of the decline of our culture, if not the death of our culture. But anyway, there's a Reader's Choice Award, and you could vote for my book to win the Reader's Choice Award, which might help uh, me achieve the style of life to which I would like to have. Uh, anyway, I'll post the note, uh, the link to the Reader's Choice Award in the comments below later on. You can go there and vote for my book, uh, Welcome to Frosty. Also makes a great Christmas present, just saying, folks. Well, let's see. Now, uh, uh, still, I'm still looking for a winner of this contest here. If you can tell me the name of uh, the diner in the town of Frosty's, you could win two tickets to my show on Saturday, October 8th. Well, now it's time for the police log. Actual item from the local paper, uh, my favorite part of the paper here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, suspicious person. At 6.26 p.m., police saw a person walking through Department of Public Works property on Elm Street. The person was taking a shortcut to Shaw's. It's a crime wave in Frosties, folks, I tell you. It's just, oh my goodness, the things that are going on. Here, let's see, uh, we got some accidents, motor vehicle complaints. Here's one. Lost property. At 3.05 p.m., police took a report of a hearing aid lost in the parking lot of the Peterborough Plaza on Wilton Road. You can just imagine how that went down. Where'd you lose it? No, not Massachusetts. I'm from New Hampshire. <laughs> let's see. Here's a, here's a juvenile complaint. At 5 p.m., police received a report of a group of young people in a closed building on Main Street. Police located the youths who admitted they had walked behind the building. Police told them to stay off of private property. Again, a crime wave around here, folks. I mean, gang activity. It's just, oh my, it's shocking what's going on here. Let's see. We got a couple of welfare checks, town ordinance violation. Well, here's another lost property. At 2.11 p.m., a resident reported losing a cell phone on Grove Street in the area of Town Hall. To wonder how he called that in. Let's see. Uh, well, here's another found property. At 9 p.m., police found a bicycle, a sweatshirt, and a bag of eggs at the Adams Playground on Union Street and put them in found property. That sounds like the beginning to a mystery story, don't it? A bag of eggs, a bicycle, and a sweatshirt. Hmm. Someone's going to work on that one, I think. Let's see. We got a few more motor vehicle complaints, a lot of accidents. Oh, here's one. Fire alarm. At 11.38 a.m., a resident reported that her smoke alarm was ticking, ver ticking very loudly. Police notified the fire department. Our smoke alarm does not tick. It beeps all the time, usually when the cookies are done. No ticking. Let's see here. What else? We got some more, some dog complaints. Lots of dog complaints going on here. And then, uh, oh, here's one. Suspicious incident. At 10.52 p.m., a resident reported finding a woman lying on the side of the road on Old Street Road who was at first unresponsive. Police found a woman on the lawn at her residence who was allegedly intoxicated. She had walked home from a party. She entered her house. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're out late and you go home. You almost make it to the front door, but you don't quite make it. And next thing you know, the neighbors are calling the police on you. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Well, here's just one more from the police log. Again, these are all actual items, folks. Let's see. Suspicious vehicle. At 2.05 a.m., police found a motorist parked in the parking lot at the Northgate Plaza using free Dunkin' Donuts Wi-Fi. Police moved him along. Again, a shocking crime wave in our area. Folks, the theft of, of free Wi-Fi. Well, 
Anyway, that's what's happening in, in the police log, folks. Well, I see lots of folks have checked in. We did, oh, my goodness, there's somebody from Deb's Desk and from Kissimmee, Florida, checking in there. Lots of local folks there. Well, I do not yet have, nobody has told me the name of the diner in the town of Frosties, New Hampshire. So you can still do that log, after I log off and finish the show here, folks. The first one to comment and tell me the name of the diner in the town of Frosties will get two tickets to my show, uh, Guide to New England for Locals and People from Away on uh, Saturday, October 8th at the Peterborough Players Theater. Well, folks, uh, tune in again next week at 8 a.m. right here, Fridays with Fred. My name is Fred Marple, coming to you live from Frost Tees, New Hampshire, and you know what they say, you can't get there from here. <laughs>